way pee. She got it, you. I've got your Wednesday juice. R. Kelly gets to keep his Grammys for now. The Recording Academy CEO Harvey Mason Jr. shut down some rumors that R. Kelly's three Grammys were revoked after being convicted on sex trafficking charge. Um, Harvey said, I think it's something that we're going to have to need to take a look at, a good hard look. Uh, we have a lot of conversations about it and work through it to make a decision. Back in 1997, R. Kelly won those three Grammys for I Believe I Can Fly in three separate categories from the Space Jam soundtrack. And following his conviction, here's something interesting. His music sales went up tremendously. Double-digit growth in streams, double, uh, triple-digit growth in sales um, from September to October, September 27th to October 3rd. His on-demand audio plays grew by 22%. Video streams increased by 23%. His album sales skyrocketed by 517%. And his streams jumped from 11.2 million to 13.4 million. I think people were afraid that the music was going to get taken down and uh, they wanted to hurry up and try to get that and keep it in their collection. Here is something absolutely ludicrous. Halloween's murderous character, Michael Myers, has been accused of homophobia. Um, if you haven't seen the new Halloween movie, this is a spoiler alert. Halloween kills. Michael Myers kills a gay couple, which has now caused people to hit the Internet with their opinion and accuse the fictional character Okay, of being anti-gay. Now, this psychopathic serial killer who has killed just about everyone in every single Halloween movie for two decades, it's crazy that he's being called homophobic. Now, while many appreciated that the gay community was represented in the movie by obviously having the gay couple, um, a lot of them were very offended by the gay men being killed. So much so that they've actually written articles about it. If you go online, there's like a ton of them. Um, and that Michael Myers might not be as progressive as some of his, of his fellow murderers. For example, Chucky. You remember the last Chucky movie? His child, Cannon, who uh, he had, is gay. And uh, many of the LGBT community praised the writers of Chucky for including that in the storyline and also for Chucky showing empathy to his child. But here's the thing. Michael Myers does not pick who he kills. He kills everyone. Have you been watching the movies for the past 20 years? Anybody that's in his path, he is taking you out. Whether you're a teenager, a grandparent, black, white, orange, purple, it doesn't matter. I think this is all very silly. We just need to take away the internet from some of these people. And speaking of Ludacris, this is the coolest thing. Ludacris got to be the first to test drive the brand new first fully electric Mercedes Benz. The new model is called the Mercedes EQS 580 and he gave us a tour on Instagram from uh, the driver's seat. It's so cool. If you are a car uh, enthusiast, you are going to love this. He showed off the huge dashboard screen that allows passengers to listen to different music than the driver, watch whatever they want from the comfort of the passenger seat. He kind of described it like he was about to play a video game, but like in real life. The ESQ 580 formatic premium starts at 120 grand. Um, it includes heated and ventilated front seats, leather upholstery, 10 speaker sound system, four zone climate control, and here's my fave, the big wheels, 19 inch wheels and tires. And that's your Juicy Entertainment News for Wednesday. Make sure you lock it in again tomorrow Tomorrow for more of the juice right here on the all-new KISS 96. Ludacris, let them know this is how we do.